Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to generate the PWM signal plot in MATLAB app designer. So let's dig in. Click create a new app. Just click on the blank app. And once app comes up, save it. You can name this anything. Say for example, PWM signal app. I'll maximize the window. Yeah, so in terms of layout, uh, we'll keep it simple. We'll just put probably a couple of axes. Uh, one axis to show the, probably what we'll do is first we'll create a sine wave and we'll convert that sine wave into the PWM in a very simple, by using a very simple code. So first one is for the sine wave and then I'll put a button to generate a PWM. I'll name this button as PWM. Okay. And probably I'll change the title sign and this one will be PWM. Perfect. I'll probably I'll do one more thing. I'll open it on the grid so it will be then easy for us to visualize. Perfect. Now in the button callback I'll add the push button Call back here and over here I'll do the main coding. So first and foremost I'll create a time variable which is this this will from 0 to 10 with a step size of 0.1 uh, you can say seconds or whatever yeah time unit and then I'll create a first sine wave which is basically a equal to sine of t and then in the plot one will in the axis one will plot this uh, and so first one is the axis, so that's basically app dot ui axis, then t which is time and a the output. So so this will convert or this will show the my the initial wave which is sine wave. Now I will pwm signal below. So I'll convert it, converting the values. Of a to 0 and 1. So, how we can do it is, it is very simple. So, we will first create another variable b equal to a and then it will be a two step process. So, first to convert all the negative values or less than 0 values to 0, what we will do is we will do a element wise multiplication of this matrix. So, and with a logic of b greater than 0. So what this will do is it will leave all the positive numbers as it is because this part will be true for all the numbers which are greater than 0 and when multiplied by uh, true means 1 and multiplied by that number it will remain as it is. However the other numbers will become 0 because this will become 0 and this will become 0. Now how to convert all the uh, positive numbers to 1. So for that we will do the division element wise division. So that's a simple step again. So instead of multiplication we will do the division. And here it will divide by itself because it will become 1. However, a caution because there are few elements which has been converted to 0 here, right? So what we can do over here is we can we can have some value, uh, say for example 1 dot and if equal to 0. So basically if the value is 0, there should be some value uh, so that the denoted the total denoted does not become 0 and there is some value. So 0 divided by some value, say you can keep it any number here, but it should not be 0 of course, then it will return that value, right? And now once done this, I think we can use the same uh, plot command here also, plot, and this time we will use the second axis, app dot ui axis, but this time I will use the ui axis to t, this, no, 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 no. So that's all. I can run the app now. In the meantime, just perfect. So app has come. Perfect. So if you see the first plot, of course, which is A here, is plotting the sine wave, and it is getting converted into the respective PWM. And say for example, at six somewhere around over here, it's crossing the zero. So that's when it's jumping from. Uh, from 0 to 1 as a PWM signal. 
So that's all I wanted to show you in this simple video that how you can easily convert it. And if you notice very carefully, this line looks a bit tilted because of the step size what we have given. Right now we have given 0.1, and that's where this is the slope of around 0.1, which is quite visible. If you want to decrease or if you want to have more granular, then make it 0.01. That will be a better uh, yeah steps. And if you know to do, it looks more instant instant uh, yeah change or change in the uh, value so that's all i wanted to show you that how easy it is to convert or to generate a pwm signal from a in a uh, app designer you know, basically you have to use a sine wave and then convert convert it into a zeros and ones as per the values from negative to positive so i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a nice day.